Hey y'all out there in uh, YouTube land, this is uh, Kuda Slayer, uh, hopefully, but in what will hopefully be in a rather instructional video. Um, today I decided I, I would like to try to um, show people how they can do some reasonably impressive or different things just by using rather inexpensive or even, in many cases, free materials that you can find almost anywhere. Um, Kind of a little bit about myself. I have been in the hobby since about 1989. I have seen just about anything, everything that can be done in the hobby. But um, one of the things I've always strived to do is to find ways that uh, you know, at least try to be more creative than other people, if not, you know, slightly better. But try to do things that are research uh, methods of doing things that anybody can do because. Thank you, and I admit I'm not a genius or anything. I'm not the greatest painter or model in the world, but I like to think that I'm at least rather creative. So, um, first thing first, I'd like to point out a few things that you can find just you know or all around uh, the place. In most uh, offices, you usually find all kinds of different types of uh, office supplies and uh, if I can find anything here. Uh, office supplies, different uh, things you can find around the house. Um, these are uh, these are uh, calculator ribbon uh, spools that you can find at uh, most offices or old style or uh, older style calculators. Um, they can make rather interesting uh, pillars, debris if you cut them up, or uh, uh, pipes, or almost anything you can possibly imagine. Uh, you know, since they have a regular shape and uh, rather easy to cut up, you can do all kinds of different little things with them. Uh, one thing I found that's rather interesting are these. These are uh, actually the inner, inside core unit parts of a roll of craft paper. Uh, a lot of shipping uh, desks or uh, anyone that does any kind of uh, wrapping of fragile materials and such will have big rolls of this paper and these are what goes inside of them so that they can sit on a spindle and be able to be the, uh, pulled off when they need it. Uh, but the nice thing about these is that these are solid plastic and if you look at them they already have kind of rather somewhat a futuristic uh, look to them. And if you just you know just file off the little lettering inside uh, these actually probably can make quite a few good things, like turrets, uh, particularly for towel players. These would be good for air, the area denial systems they had, and um, one of you past the uh, white dwarf issues. I got a whole bunch of these, and these these make great for uh, you know, like I said, turrets and such. Um, cardboard tubes. These you can get almost anywhere. Uh, these are off of uh, a label machine that we use. And uh, fairly strong construction can be made for almost anything you can imagine, from you know more pillars to pipes or whatever. Uh, let's see. Another uh, thing I find that works really great is uh, sawdust. Sawdust is often times you know some easy you can come across. Because this is um, this would be great for like flocking bases or even entire game boards, and it's fairly cheap to get. Uh, another thing that sawdust is good for is uh, if you mix it up with glue, it makes a great filler for filling out parts on buildings, such a building or uh, hills, uh, any kind of terrain. It's you know it's great filler, and it's, it's again it's relatively cheap and available. Uh, when I try to go around looking for uh, uh, for different parts and such, I'll try to look around for uh, any kind of uh, co company or anything that does any kind of manufacturing, uh, particularly like uh, gaskets or seals or any kind of um, uh, fabrication for industrial use. Because uh, the main thing is that they come across all kinds of different materials, and you know, oftentimes we'll have different uh, kind of parts like uh, these. These are leftover punch outs from uh, die cutting. These, you know, something like this could be used for, you know, building, you know, texturing on a, uh, on a terrain or whatever. Then other kind of style of punch outs, you can get like these. These are great. 
Uh, these are actually made out of um, vegetable fiber, which is a glorified cardboard, but uh, which they use in like automotive uh, uses and such. But it's cheap, works with uh, any kind of uh, glue you can imagine. Uh, let's see. Some other stuff I find, like uh, this is a cork sponge material that's used a lot. Um, these are great for making buildings out of. Uh, these, are, these are some of the bricks I like to use sometimes for some of my smaller buildings. Um, you can glue these together and make some rather very nice big buildings reasonably easily. And since these are often produced in large amounts, you can get a whole ton of them rather cheaply. Um, Let's see. And sometimes, occasionally, you come across the unique piece that uh, that you know you may not expect, but you can uh, have all kinds of uses for. It. Like, imagine what I can do with this. I mean, this is this is kind of one of the accidental finds I found, but uh, I know where I can get more of these, and it'd be great for uh, some some chaos uh, theme uh, terrain pieces maybe one day in the future. But this is kind of stuff you can find. At different, um, you know, in dumpsters or um, just wherever you work at, you just gotta know where to look. Uh, kind of one of the big things I suggest is uh, before you start going dumpster diving or anything, ask for permission. You definitely do not want to be going through someone's dumpster and get caught, uh, especially by the owner or even by the, you know, by the police. And unfortunately, most owners and most police are not war gamers, so they're not quite all that understanding. Um, Another thing is, try to look for um, any, any kind of company that will do any, any kind of manufacturing. Um, I suggest, uh, again, any company that does the seals or gaskets, they have, um, mainly because they have access to a lot of different materials, or, um, you know, or, or do kinds of uh, manufacturing where they do a lot of punch outs like this. Oh, um, another thing to keep an eye out for are. Um, or punch outs like this. These are actually rather effective for um, for assembling models and even sculpting. This is uh, actually made out of Teflon if you can't tell. This is what solid Teflon looks like. Uh, and if you know anything about Teflon is that uh, nothing really bonds with Teflon all that well. So you can glue, you can set like a, a symbol of model on it, especially with the slotted bases. You can set it on that and don't have to worry about the glue running or sticking to your table or uh, use this as shims for uh, assembling parts or uh, kind of one little trick which um, hopefully I'll be in a bit will be in a video later on is how I use this to make a cloak out of a putty for one of my other figures just by uh, you know kind of bend it like this and then stick it uh, behind uh, behind the bit of the figure and just build the sculpt the uh, cloak above, on top of that and once it dries and hardens, you can just simply peel this away and don't have to worry about tearing apart your putty. Oh, one more thing. Um, kind of one thing to keep an eye out for is a lot of times manufacturers will throw out stuff like this. This can be uh, you know reasonably good for like a work surface so that you don't have to worry about cutting your table underneath. Or even better, if you can get whole large sheets of this at a... Uh, at, you know, at, at, that people just throw away because this is rather cheap material, uh, and use it for a gaming uh, surface because, as you can tell, it has a rather nice, uh, irregular uh, surface to it, and it would be pretty good for, uh, you know, to something to break up the, the monotony of flat terrain. Uh, nothing is to, uh, if you're looking for large amounts of styrofoam. Uh, a good source would be is to go to any kind of uh, furniture store or any kind of off especially an office supply or electronics uh, comp um, uh, you know uh, merch uh, a store uh, especially if they sell like pre-assembled uh, you know assembled yourself furniture because there will be a lot of times this in the shipping pack and packaging there will be large planks of uh, styrofoam about anywhere between six by two to four feet wide. Um, and those would be great for buildings, uh, making the surface of the table itself, and uh, all kinds of use. But it's a real good, quick, cheap way to, um, you know, get a lot of styrofoam uh, rather easy. You just uh, the hard part is just uh, you know knowing what the right place to look. This is uh, Kuda Slayer uh, signing off, and uh, hopefully all this rambling and everything was helpful to you. Bye.